Does, now, here, we'll go back. Does your community relate to any sort of oversight body beyond your immediate community? And uh, if so, how does that relationship impact the way your local community or whatever community you're in does ministry? I, I would say we don't have oversight, but we do have connections. Like, we've sent a lot of our folks, even just recently, to uh, study with Neil Cole, who wrote the Organic Church book, mm -hmm. uh, other things that hook us up. Uh, I just did a tour through several countries in Africa and Europe that are doing simple church. We don't have a strong connection with them, but there are people that I can email or be in touch with, and um, and things still the same kind of thing happens locally. But it's very I don't want to say haphazard; it's, it's as needed. Um, like we had one church that had they're tr really trying to do this simple church thing, but they feel guilty, so they still go to big church. At, also, and it's, which is fine. We've got no problem with that. Although we did, have found that it's important to be able to say that simple church is church, not that we go to church, but we have this small group that meets in our home that's kind of like a church, because that will never take on the responsibility of full pastoring and everything that happens in church. So it's important to, for identities to be able to say it's just church. And we had a group that's kind of in between. And what happened is there were, they were in somebody else's house, unbeliever's house, down the street, meeting, doing church, and they had this healing. The guy was, you know, had terminal cancer and laid hands on him and he's all getting better and they're so excited. They said, would you people come back to our house? Uh, we want to we want to put on a big feast and celebrate and, and uh, the, the church. He said, sure, that'd be great. When do you want to do it? And they said, um, two weeks from now in the morning uh, on Sunday which was Easter Sunday. And there was a big fight in the, in the church, the simple church. Can we not go to our building on Easter Sunday? What will we be teaching our children? What will people at church think of us? Uh, we we, we got to tell these folks that we've got to be in church on Sunday. And it was the kids who were saying, no, we've got to be where God's doing stuff, you know, and he's obvious. They, ca they caught the, the, the vision better than us. But in that particular situation, those that were not designated leaders but had assumed some degree of leadership, had a certain following, they called a couple other leaders from other congregations or other simple churches to say, what would you guys do in this case, you know, and worked it all out and figured out what to do. And it, it turned into a great learning opportunity for the whole network uh, in terms of priorities. So I wouldn't say there was an accountability or a oversight function, but there certainly was a, a shared learning, uh, checking in with. Collaboration? Yeah, something uh, like that. You were and, I, and I keep on going to do that differently. We're trying to figure out a word for that. Oversight or accountability or oversight seems to be different. Accountability I, I can't use anymore. I, like um, I use editing. Because I, an, 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 yeah, an editor is someone who comes and looks at my work and and talks to me about how it impacts their life and how it can be expressed more fully as as my creation and who I am. And an and accountability thing is like an accountant yeah. that says, "I know what the bottom line is, and I'm going to measure you and see if you measure up or not." And you either you, know, you do or you don't. You pass or you fail. And there's a standard that you have to go by. Uh, but editing is something that I find a lot more palatable. Well, for us, it's pretty simple. Like, uh, you know, they have the communities living in the city. And so, like, um, in some sense, like, if something comes up and I need them to do something, you know, like, hey, we're going to have a, this extra meeting. This guy's coming to town on Saturday. I could tell him. Mm -hmm. And they'll be there on Saturday. Right. Know? Um, we do have a board that's over all of them this year. And, uh, um, though, I mean, they're pretty hands-off, you know, like, they, mm -hmm. I mean, they kind of let us have the freedom to kind of, like, because, you know, for each city, the communities look different, and, right. and it, with each city director, they kind of have their own flavor and stuff, and, um, but yeah, I guess they would, I mean, they could if they say, we're done, you know, and, like, close it down <laughs> if they wanted to, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, they're there, sort of. Like, you know. How does the board of these different communities can pile the communities together. They, do you do something with No, I mean, we have a main office that's right. down in Atlanta. So, I mean, we're an organization. So it's like you have the board that kind of, like, helps make decisions, like, hey, all right, are we going to be able to function in all these cities? Like, or we have enough people, like, and there's enough resources, like, maybe we can expand and keep going to other cities. Um, and so they make some of the overarching themes. But yeah. then, like, in each city, 
I mean, it's really up to the city director to kind of give its own flavor. But does, uh, does, does, does the board help, like, Philadelphia be in a relationship with the no, 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 because like with the staff, we have staff meetings like every four weeks or something like that on the phone, and, um, and we have like uh, staff meetings when we go to the CCDA or some other meetings. Oh, Christian Community Development Association, which is a uh, organization that pulls together a lot of urban ministries. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you guys for having us. Round of applause.